Action, cousin. My name is Akeem Taro, and I'm a Philly native from the Carroll's family. The pressure. The pressure. The pressure. The pressure. The pressure. If you wanna know my thoughts, I got highs and lows At times I cry in my sleep, but nobody knows The pain is real and that water helps to ease the hurt My baby mama started tripping after giving birth Relationships on the outs, problems getting worse Now she's spazzy cause she knows that I can't find work I see my PO and he's talking about some restitution Retribution for that time in that institution I piss hot, but he lets me off with a warning In my single bedroom, it's like the walls are haunted I gotta do better, struggle don't last forever We sent a head with Hakeem, the prince. Hakeem. I'm a Zunda. From, <laughs> from the tribe of <laughs> Zumunda. <laughs> Yo, we up here with my cousin, Hakeem, showing how we do it in Philly. Really. King, you nervous, man? Don't be nervous, man. man I'm chilling, cuz. Don't be up? nervous, dog. No. Well, man, I'm from no. Yeah, you from North. Uh, yeah, That's yeah, who you yeah, always yeah. was from? Or you from like any other place always you grew from up? The, always from North. Always from North Side? 17 Venars. 17 Venars. Same yeah. block I was from. Yeah. That's how we do. Tell so people about what you used to do for fun back in when you was younger. Play football. Yeah, that was um, the shit. Uh, went to school, got good grades sometimes. You said oh, got good grades sometimes. Yeah, and I hang with you a lot. My cousin the <laughs> one behind the camera. Yeah, what right we used there. to do, K, okay, tell Play him. Play basketball and uh, uh, go to Pans Landed. Oh, yeah. You show me how to sell oysters and shit. Oh, yeah, you remember that? Yeah, yeah I remember all that bad stuff. <laughs> I remember because you used to give me, I sold one, well, oh, you used to give me 50 cent a day, I remember. Ah, nah, I ain't give you that much, motherfucker. That was a quarter. You said 50 cent. No. <laughs> <laughs> he said a quarter. No, no, like yeah, we, yeah, like yeah, we, yeah, we was in the 19th. I grew up hanging. My cousin was behind the camera. I grew up hanging with my family. My mm. cousin Dennis. Mm. Tony. Good. All right. But no, mostly with you, though. So. But, like, we'll talk about more Philly questions, man. What you, uh, what you love about Philly the most, man? Yeah, born and raised here. What I love about Philly the most. Mm -hmm. um, it, is a, it is a lot of love in Philly. It's just okay. who you know, who you hang with. Mm -hmm. But other than that, though, I don't really hang with a lot of. I don't really have a lot of friends. I do have friends, though. That's good. Though. I'm more a family. Yeah. I hang with most of all my family. Got you. Got you. That, yeah, you don't, don't got no that. crew. Yeah, you I just like I was. Stuff, I was the yeah. same way growing I up. Like, my cousins and all that stuff. Yeah, you I mean, had like a I couple ain't of no friends and all that stuff. The party with my cousins, we party all the time. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, basically, man, what you like to do in Philly is mostly hang with the family, right? Yeah, hang with the family, go out, have cookouts. Yeah, you don't got yeah, no man. spots in Philly that you like to go at? Or you just don't really not you ain't really ain't no going yeah, out yeah that's probably when i was younger other than that I how about work, make sure my kids cool yeah when you was younger yeah when i, I was wanna, younger yeah pens landed you said right pens landed yeah i went to pens landed with you a lot mm -hmm. and then getting older we had little clubs here and there but mm -hmm. other than that no okay oh okay well never in any streets getting in trouble with that stuff i gotcha. ain't need to do all that mm -hmm. what you love about philly the most stuff the people, uh, your family, of course. My family first. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a sports player, so I got. Oh yeah, my yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta you talk about the Eagles. Eagles. I don't yeah. care. I'm a dog. Them. You yeah. know what I mean? But yeah, the sports. I love all Philly teams. I don't gotcha. care if it was hockey or whatever yeah. like that. And, um, what made you get into sports? Like, what made you start like in the Eagles? I ain't get into the Eagles until like my middle twenties. I don't I, know about I, you. I started watching. I was playing football then. I started watching football with Dallas and Buffalo. This is around like 89, 90 when they were going Dang. to the Super Bowls back to back. Dang. And I was like, and I started watching football then. Oh, yeah. And I'm over there, like, hold up. Don't we got our own team? <laughs> and it's the Eagles. I was like, all right, well, we got our own team. I'm not going to root for nothing. I'm like, I got my own team. Mm -hmm. That's me yeah, around that time, yeah. Yo, what you, uh, you talking about Philly, man? What separates our city from every other city? What makes us stand out? What makes us stand out? Yeah. Well, you know what? I've been, you know, I travel a lot. Oh, you did? Up, 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 up down the East Coast since I was 14. I've been That's through a lot of up. cities. I ain't know that. And, um, uh, what, like, I stand out is, we all 
different from each other. The, the, like the country is different from each other. Though. But um, I don't really see no different because when you go to any other hood like we got, everybody just the same. They just every other just different. So I really don't see the difference. All that I see is the brotherly love and. But everybody got brotherly love and they see where they go. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I don't really see no different because I travel up and down the coast, so I really don't see no yeah, different. How about then they I'll say? I probably say that because I grew up in Philly. Yeah. I'm going to always love my city. I can't say I'm going to love nowhere else. But how about, all right, let's say this then. How about the food? Because you know, we known for the, the pretzels, the cheese steaks. Yeah. We known for our hoagies. You know, we know. I, we, um, yeah, I tell you to, um, other um, pizza and pizzas and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, our cheese steaks is known for our cheese steak. I yeah. would say uh, we got better cheese steaks. Gotcha. So who the best pizza cheese steak? And and pizza. I had New York pizza. I do like they pizza. They said they do got the best. I heard. Yeah, but I had they pizza though. But yeah, what's your what's some of your favorite uh your favorite cheese steak places? You got any in mind? Of course, you know we're gonna say Max. We just said that. King, yeah. Man, King. Max is, and what? And everybody go to what's going down South Philly, right? Oh, uh. But you know, Max is number one. Yeah, on Broad and Airy. Man, Todd, I was talking one. about that. And, yeah, man. You know, uh, what's the one of some of your best childhood memories growing up? Best childhood memories yeah. growing up with my family. Okay. That's good. That's all I did. Yeah, growing up my family is good. Living in Philly, like what you learn, one of the things that you learn, like living in Philly, man. That different, like when you say you traveled a lot of other places. Uh, when I learned living in Philly, uh -huh. you know, the one thing about Philly, we all grew up, and Philly is a rough place to live in. Mm -hmm. But um, learning how to stay out the way and stay out of trouble, you're always gonna find trouble though. Mm -hmm. But stay to myself. Stay with my family and just chill out and try not to stay because Philly's a rough place to live at. Mm -hmm. and, um, and that's it. Learn how to stay out the way. Yeah. Be humble. And I get my humbleness by growing up with my cousins like you and all that other stuff though. Yeah. Everybody else is, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm Which not going to say everybody is a bad person, but all my humbleness is coming from my cousins and stuff like, yo. What's your opinion on all well, that? Well, y'all and stuff like that, we all our little cousins, we all grew up by y'all and stuff. We yeah. could have been like, okay, Don't some of us probably made mistakes. Yeah. They probably wouldn't, uh, but yeah. Besides all that, we all grew up with y'all, though. That's yeah. why we became humble. Yeah. What's with some, a decent family. Exactly. What's some of the, um, the, the, your opinion on this violence, man, with all this crime and stuff going on, these young boys? What you think it's from? I think it's from not them having no dads. A grand brain brought up by their moms or grandma. What you think it is? Well, a lot of kids grew up without no parents and they still at parents, all. So. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, I ain't even I ain't even mention that one. Cause some of the kids out here not some of the kids out here not dumb, but oh hell no. Yeah, they know what's right for them, but you probably got that other person. In the air, like, oh, I call it. Uh, mm -hmm. And the parents here, so come like this. So some of them just be, well, no, no, so I can't speak for everybody. Yeah, a lot of them don't have no respect yeah. for human life. Yeah, no you respect know, for human people, life. Some people figure they might have no parents and they think their life is just over. Mm -hmm. I know, man. And it's crazy. You know, now these days, though, though, man, these kids just like, and they know from right from wrong. Now they just like, mm -hmm. I get a lot of them that I talk to and stuff like that. A lot of them, um, like I see a couple of them that I seen as they was growing older and stuff like that. And I seen a couple of them that I didn't see in a while. And they was like, yo, man, you help me out like and everything. I'm doing very well and stuff like that. So that's what's up. Yeah, man. So if you was an outsider, right? Let's say you met somebody from another part of town and city, right? They was coming to visit Philly. No, they knew nothing about it. What would you take them? Like, what's some of the places that you would take them? I know you said the Max Cheese Stick spot. Yeah. What else you would do with them? Like the zoo, would you do that, take them there? 
Yeah, if they know if they, if they know any history about Philly, uh -huh. if they say, yeah, um, what the, about the cheesesteak? Oh, uh, the Philadelphia Zoo. Ooh, yep, the museums uh, and all and that. Stuff like that, though, then I'll let them know, like, yeah, you gonna go get a Mexican cheesesteak, right? <laughs> uh, you gonna go there around that area and board the area, uh, <laughs> okay? It's a little, they know where they cheese, but that's uh, a little dangerous area, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yep. Okay, we're now I'm the Philadelphia Zoo in West Philly, mm -hmm. right? That's we're, the place to go. But. We're a historical city, man. Yeah, we are. A lot are. of stuff started yeah. here. The first zoo. The decoration of independence, you know, all that yeah. stuff, so. If you want to keep everything downtown, you want to see the history, then, yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything downtown, stuff like that. Yep. What makes uh, a Philly dude? Like, man, Tata was talking about it. Like, we were saying our, sl our swag and stuff. What you think it is? That's, that's separates, like, when you go to another city, and they know you from Philly from the way you talk and stuff? Oh... Um. I think a lot of them uh, like to have fun. We all, mostly we all comedians. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Like we like rap. to joke around, yeah. And, um, Hip hop is a, a big thing. A lot of it is not bad. We don't mind getting along with each other. The only people that make everything bad is the wrong person that you hang with or people that you bring around you. Yeah. This man Tata said that we hit it on the nail. We said in Philly, if we fuck with you, we fuck with yeah. you. And if we don't, we don't. Yeah. <laughs> That's our attitude here. You know what I mean? And we love you. We love you to death. You know? Yeah, yeah, but yeah we love you to death and everything. But one thing, I can't speak for everyone. Like I said, though, one thing I want to do, I'm just have a few friends and we all came out good. We all grew up together good and everything. I ain't had no friends that we all treat each other, but family, that's all it is. A lot of, lot of people in Philly don't hang with their family. Mm -hmm. Me, we, I got a decent thing that I hang with. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's I came right. to press. <laughs> From we sit up here. I'm pulling out the red card before you call. This your day. This your day, man. You're a special dude. I love you, man. I know I don't tell you that a lot, but you know, you definitely a uh, shining star. All of us are. And you're a spark. You was brought here by the creator, God above, for a reason. Believe it or not, you here for a reason, man. And, and we he, still hang. And we still hang. I still love you, cuz. And, and I love you too. And the thing about it, you may not notice, but you made impacts on people's lives. You definitely made an impact on everybody's life in our family. Everybody always asks, where King at? <laughs> they know you're gonna make them laugh and <laughs> Yeah, look at King about to cry. Oh, <laughs> Look at King. Look at King about to start crying. Look at King about to start crying. It's starting to get a little windy. It's starting to get a little windy. He like the Tim Man on the Wiz. Uh, T. Uh, T. <laughs> Look, describe for me Philly in three words, and we uh want to end this joint. Three words, man. Three words. Take your time. Love, love, family, family, peace, peace. We out of here, and I like to thank you again, cuz, for doing us Philly natives. How we do it all day, every day, doing it way big, dealing with one of the realest in Philly. I came to Prince, and I always end it with this note: Know thyself, man. A real important note: Know thyself. Yeah, you know I man. Peace. Thanks. Peace.